Guys, it's Friday. We are going into the final double race weekend of this first block. I can't believe it's nearing the end of November already. That's half a cross season done. Don't know where time's gone. But um, I've been on my own all week. I'm super excited because today it's Friday. That means everyone else is staying here in the house. Anna and a few others are coming to stay and that means I won't be on my own because it's been pretty lonely on my own, not gonna lie. Just been keeping myself busy with Sudoku. Sudoku. Anyway, um, just about to head out for an hour and a half on the road. Um, I'm gonna end up in Ghent. I'm gonna meet a friend who I stayed with at the chain stay last season. So it'd be good to catch up with him over a coffee and then back here and then just chill out get ready for the first race tomorrow in Fagtabika, probably said that wrong. And then it's the big one, uh, Coxider on Sunday, my first World Cup of the season. So that's gonna be really cool, uh, racing in the sand dunes. Uh, yeah, so I'm really excited for that one. Um, my mum and dad are coming over to watch. Um, they're having a little bit of a weekend in Bruges, so they're gonna have a good time and it'll just be really cool to see all the Brits, uh, all the supporters and all the guys coming over to race because it's kind of our most local World Cup. Um, just an hour from Calais. So yeah, it's gonna be a good weekend. So raced back to Beaker today and felt awful. So I raced awful. So that's one to forget. But we're racing in Coxide tomorrow um, in the sand dunes, which is going to be really good fun. First World Cup of the season, so that's going to be really good. And thanks to Christian, one of my mechanics, gave me a nice little letter with top tips to ride in the sand. But these are top secret just for me so I'm gonna put those into action and see how I go tomorrow in the sand so I can't wait it's gonna be good hopefully better than today because that was awful got my pre race cock cider food I always make way too much plates the size of little Anna Kay hey it's nice to show your face mate yeah been alone all week. Where you been? <laughs> I'm glad you're here now. Mm. Yeah. All those colours. <laughs> also, I put a poll up on my Instagram earlier because yesterday I saw a sign saying, run like Ryan Gosling is waiting for you at the finish line with a puppy. This is a sign that I really enjoyed because that is like my absolute dream. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 76% of you all have voted for the puppy. Why? I don't get it. Right, this could be the fun and only time you meet Ryan Gosling and you pick a puppy when you could just meet a puppy down the street. 
So, you know, what if the puppy was ugly? Still not Ryan Gosling. I'm right, aren't I, Anna? Yeah, of course you'd want to see Ryan Gosling. So tomorrow I'm going to picture Ryan Gosling at the end of the finish line at Coxsider. I feel like a picture here is very fitting. <laughs> If you were in an acapella group, what would your acapella sound be? Ah, question that, isn't it? I think I'd do the whistling. Quite good at whistling, isn't it? Just at the back one, don't Well, someone's got to make the. Someone's got to make those sounds, yeah. haven't they? Yeah. Morning. It's time to get ready for Clock Slider. Shirley Leader's jersey. Hey. <laughs> quite small, but that's good. Very Anna size. Quite little. Yeah. Left, left side. Have you packed your bucket and spade? Uh, I haven't actually. <laughs> that would be a good one. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> We're off. See the weather. Off to cut time. Built in Sandcastle. It's gonna be great fun. <laughs> Mother, you're here. Hello. Yay. I'm Papa Gump. Guys, it's finally. A white shoe day.
um, had so much fun and really, really happy with 24 um, in my first World Cup of this year. And that's my best World Cup result in two seasons. So I think Cougar Hyde 2018 um, was my best uh, 24th there. So <clears throat> on the way up guys. So I'm really happy with that. And it was so cool to see all the Brits out there shouting, cheering and spurring us all on. Um, it was really quite motivating. So it was really, really cool to race and perform in front of all those crowds. So thanks guys. Yeah, just a massive thanks to everybody who's helped me um, throughout this first block of the season, especially my little Belgian fam and support lot. Um, my mechanics Christoph and Christian and all of those um, guys for being there for us to chat to and yeah having lots of people to help me um, at the races. Another big shout out to West Midlands Cyclocross League um, who I've been a recipient of the bursary again um, this season just to help me um, travel to and from Belgium and it's been a massive help and um, I'm happy to wave that flag. Uh, yeah, so that was Cox Island. Now I'm just back home. A um, couple of weeks now, just training, getting some big endurance block in and working a bit at the pub just to earn a bit more money for the last half of the season before going back out on the 20th of December for Namur. So yeah, till then. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe to this channel and uh, share it, tell your friends about it. Um, yeah, spread the word, comment what you want to see maybe and if you like it then great. <laughs>